What do you say to those people who worry that decriminalization would lead to an increase in trafficking? And then what do you say to people who say, no, uh, decriminalization doesn't go far enough, we need full legalization? How, would you, how do you respond to those, to those questions? Yeah, I, the reason I, uh, the reason I support the decriminaliza decriminalization model is because I believe in trusting the worker. I believe in trusting a person's autonomy over their body and making sure that they're able to do with it as they please, as long as they're not hurting anyone else. And so, you know, I may not agree, then I don't participate. But if you want to participate, you should be able to go and do that safely somewhere. Um, that's part of the freedoms that we have, right? And our job is to protect each other again. The problem with legalization is that it is to, it's a model that can offer um, uh, lots of profit for third parties or for uh, people who might act as, um, as intermediaries between the buyer and the seller. Um, and so again, it's about uh, removing uh, exploitation that may be possible in, in that work scenario and actually empowering the worker. Um, and then the Nordic model or the end demand model is really problematic to me. This is a model that only wants to legalize the selling of sex, but not the buying of sex. And the problem with this is that then that means that there is no incentive for the customer to give their real name and contact information to the sex worker. So how are they going to report violence against them? You can't screen your customers. And in, in, in neighborhoods like mine, where our undocumented population um, is high and, and, and they seek those services, well, we don't want to put them in, um, in harm's way uh, through law enforcement and, and end up in deportation proceedings just because of their bodily needs. These are things that, that, that I think we need to really think about and be fair um, when, we, when we consider a person's rights. Um, and ultimately, you know, in the same way that we as women say all the time that we're pro-choice because it's our body and, and, and you know, our voice. And it, I, to me, it's the same thing for sex work. It's your body. Nobody should tell you what to do with it. Um, I just want to make sure that whatever it is that you're doing with it is safe, that you're not harming yourself or anyone else.